All right, everybody, welcome back to day five of Halloween week. We have officially reached the weekend, Halloween weekend. It is Friday, and we are going to do the Phantom of the Opera. Looks like an old board here, probably. But, um, Phantom of the Opera. Well, it's not very old. Oh, 1990. That's 30 years old, I guess. Phantom of the Opera, 1990, is based on the classic novel from Gaston Leroux, published in 1911, designed by Joe Kamenkow and Ed Cibula. This game makes excellent use of its license without an, with outstanding audio effects and imagery that tells the story of the Phantom. The playfield features incredible artwork by world-renowned artist Paul Ferris with images of many of the characters from the novel, including the Phantom and Christian Day. Other notable features are the catwalk ramp, magic mirror, trapdoor, and an organ that opens for multi-ball. The Phantom can even be unmasked and his true face revealed on the back glass. 2,750 units of this table were produced. The Phantom of the Opera. Let's hop into it. You know, I've never seen... I feel like I've seen the movie and I cannot remember who was in it. But I have not seen the play of this that I know of. There's a little there's a little theater around here, like a little hometown theater, and we used to take field trips there in school and watch plays. I remember going and watching Frankenstein one time, and I remember going and watching like uh, I can't remember what the other one was honestly. But we never went and seen. They never did a. If they did a Phantom of the Opera, they never did it for us. <laughs> we never went and saw Phantom of the Opera. Well, we're doing just god awful right now. I would like to unmask the Phantom. That would be pretty cool. But we're not going to unmask anybody the way we're playing. <laughs> we did really good the first round last time and on the Ripley board. I don't know what's going on here. Was this like a bonus? terrible. We'll have to play again. Those plays were always fun to go watch. One, it got us out of school and there was like a Wendy's next door. Or not next door, but like right down the road. So we always got to go eat at Wendy's. And I remember going to these plays like back when I was in like elementary school. Like not straight up elementary school, but like fourth, fifth grade. Middle school. And I remember going in high school. It was always something we did. So I thought that was pretty cool. It was just, you know, stuff like that. Man. I do remember the Frankenstein play, though. But the only reason I thought of, like, just that like, plays in general is because of the Phantom of the Opera. You know, it was like a novel, but it seemed like it was always like a play, maybe. Maybe it wasn't. Get ready for two-ball play, it said. <laughs> Two ball play lasted a long time, didn't it? What a joke. I still want to see the Phantom Unmasked. You know, I'm talking about scary. The dogs outside, <laughs> the dogs in the neighborhood are going crazy right now for something. Come on. Of course. I don't know how we go about spelling phantom back there on the back glass, but I bet that's how we unmask him. Oh man, we're doing terrible on the Phantom of the Opera board. It's probably because I'm so sleepy. Honestly, that's a terrible excuse, but it is. It's like 4 in the morning right now. But we did better, it looked like. 
But what is better if we don't crack the top five, though? Maybe we'll have a really good round this time. There we go. Like immediately blow it. Okay, well I figured out how to get letters, I think. You have to send them up that ramp. But this is a much better score so far than we've had. Damn it. No, <laughs> oh, that was a terrible, terrible, terrible shot. What a waste of a ball. Oh my god. That was so bad. And we almost got 800,000. Which means if we were that high, we probably could have cracked a million of that and screwed those last two balls up. Well, that's a terrible bonus. We'll play one more time. One more time, Phantom of the Opera. Because I would really, really, really like to unlock the mask, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen because I keep screwing up so bad. <laughs> the way I'm playing is scarier than this board. <laughs> but it is Halloween weekend. How are you celebrating? Have you went and rolled anyone's house yet? Can't really do that anymore. I remember that's what we used to do as kids. Actually, it's not what we used to do. It used to happen to my house a lot. And I went and rolled like one time, I think. Did you carve pumpkins? What'd you do? It ain't time to trick or treat yet, so. Y'all all decked out for Halloween? It's up to me. I decorate for every holiday. I love decorating. I think it's so much fun. Come on, baby. They're ready for two ball play. Hopefully, hopefully we can do pretty good this time. Since last time was so trash. So far it's light years better than last time. Three ball play. Oh, we lost one. Thank God we decided to play one more round, though. We lost one. Oh, we lost all of them. Damn it, we're so close to spelling Phantom. Come on. And we cracked a million. Oh, that's the end of the game. We don't get to we're not gonna get to see the Phantom unmasked. Yes! Finally though. That's what I wanted to do here. This is what we set out to do, is to crack the top five in the boards.
And that's what we've done. Did we get a million? Yeah, we did get a million. Well, we cracked the top four, I guess. That's even better. One million, two hundred sixteen thousand seven hundred and eighty. Uh, I think we're going to call it there. That turned out to be really good. I like that Phantom of the Opera board. I wish we could have seen the Phantom Unmasked there, but you know what? It is what it is. Um, it's Friday. Hope you're enjoying your Halloween weekend, even though it is early in the morning. But hope you enjoy what's left of it. Uh, stay tuned. Tomorrow morning, we've got a fun one. Thank you so much for watching.